now the holy grail of comedy, the act out. This is how you occupy your own stories by acting out people. There's a difference between narrating a story and acting out a story. When you act out a story, you get laughs. So this is how it works. This is a narration. My mother would always tell me to get my hair out of my eyes. Who am I speaking to? I'm speaking to the audience. When I go into an act out, watch what happens. My mother said to me, Jody, get your hair out of your eyes. You have such a pretty face. That's the act out. So when I'm saying, Judy, get your hair out of your eyes, I'm not speaking to the audience, am I? I'm speaking, actually, I'm become my mother and I speak to myself. So what we want to do when we tell a story is to jump very quickly into these act outs where you actually become the person. Any person you mention in your story must be acted out. You might go, but Judy, I'm a business type. I'm a software engineer. I'm not very good at acting people out. You know, nobody's going to say, hey, comedy patrol, put down that joke. Your mother didn't sound like that. You just indicate. So the first step to acting someone out is to pick somebody in your story. All right. And what you want to do then is stand like them. Like my grandmother, I love acting out my grandmother. She had a very funny uh, Russian accent and she was excessively Jewish. I have a joke uh, about her where I'm trying to explain to my grandmother what a sperm bank is. And she goes, what? How can you trust a place? Everything's frozen. Nothing's fresh. What, Judy? <laughs> I just loved her. So my grandmother, if I talk about her, I'm not just going to say my grandmother didn't know what a sperm bank is and she asked if everything was frozen. No, I become her. I stand like her. Some tips for acting out. If you're a guy and you're acting out a woman, don't go, and that is it. <laughs> don't do that. It's so annoying. Just indicate that it's a woman by, you know, the way you, you talk. Just, just be it. Just feel it. Act out your dogs, but don't, when you act out a dog, go like, ruff, 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 ruff. give the dogs words. Act outs always have words. I, I go like, I have two dogs. One is totally codependent. I go out to get the mail and she's like, ah, where have you been? I love you. I love you. I missed you. And my other one is a Springer Spaniel emotionally unavailable. I'm like, come on, get up on the bed, get up on the bed. And my dog's like, come on, get a life. What is a surefire laugh is acting out inanimate objects. So I want you to look around where you are right now. Maybe there's a chair there. So I want you to act out that chair. Oh no, here comes another a-hole. Anything you want to say, it doesn't have to be a joke. Just if you commit to it, you will get that laugh. Try it. The act out formula, how this works is you say it in present tense, such as, and my father says to me, and then you take the position of your father, and then you say it as if he's speaking right to you. Here's some examples of that. Watch. I love going to gay bars, but gay men are the worst because if they hook up with somebody, they leave you so fast. <laughs> At least your girlfriends are like, I came with my friends. I can't let you leave. I'm begging with all my friends. I'm not going to let you leave with you. Oh my God. Okay. I like to play tennis with men. You can tell a lot about a guy by the way they play a game. Really, I was playing with this one man. He couldn't say 30 love. He kept saying 30, I really like you, but I still have to see other people. Because men are very afraid to get involved. I dated my last boyfriend for two years and finally I gave him an ultimatum. You know, I said, listen, either you tell me your name or it's over. 
You know how I end relationships now? I don't say this isn't working out or I don't want to see you anymore. If I never want to see a man again, I just say, you know, I love you. I want to marry you. I want to have your children. Sometimes they leave skid marks. You ever walk into a plate glass window? Two things are happening there. Pain and embarrassment. But pain takes a back seat to embarrassment, doesn't it? No matter how much pain you're in, if people are laughing, you just laugh along with them. Did oh! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I just slammed right into that thing, didn't I? Isn't that funny? It's so clean and shiny. <laughs> Someone should put a sticker or a happy face or something. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, my. Is that blood? <laughs> I'm bleeding. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I'm bleeding. Oh, my. Can you help me find my eye? Stand in front of a computer, and I'll give you the setup, and you do the act out. My mother is overly critical about my weight. I could win the Nobel Peace Prize and she would be saying, pause the video now and work on it. Politicians lie when they say, I'm going to create new jobs and create prosperity. What they're really saying is, pause the video now and work on it. I had such a horrible day. It was as if when God was making plans for my day, he was going, pause the video now and work on it. When we had my dog fixed, he looked at me as if he was saying, pause the video now and work on it. Last night, I got sick to my stomach. It was as if my stomach was going, Pause the video now and work on it. Go through your speech, your story, and try and have an act out at least every two minutes.